All right, boom. We're going to hop right into it because I have a lot to say about this interview that this WNBA player gave on Gilbert Arenas' podcast yesterday. We're just going to play it. I haven't watched the whole thing, but I've been seeing the tweets and stuff. So we better see what was actually said. It's by coaches. Yeah, yeah. So but that's you got it. The sacrifice of the yeah. game. But, but we see him. But but they're do, harnessed by but, coaches. Yeah, yeah. So but that's you got it. The sacrifice of the yeah. game. And so much rides on your if you win things instead of just how you how you play and how you carry yourself. And I think once we can separate. So I did. I didn't hear the beginning of the conversation, but already off rip, a professional athlete complaining about the fact that winning actually matters in their league. Like this is why people don't take the WNBA seriously because these are the type of athletes that are getting platform. They care more about winning than how we carry ourselves. Yeah, why would anybody give a fuck about how you carry yourself as a professional athlete as opposed to how much you win and what you actually doing for your franchise and for your city? Great that as well. Like, I think more players will be more comfortable just hooping. Like, yeah. yes, you want to win, obviously. If, you're if people didn't care so much about winning, more players would be comfortable just hooping. What are you hooping for if it's not to win basketball games? Like, what are we talking about? If a good enough player, wins will come. But if you're out there hooping and you don't win a championship or you don't make it to the finals, like, you can't be like, but that's what happens. That's what In happens the NBA in right now, how many box outs do you actually see? None. All right. The integrity of the game when it comes to box outs? Cool. Rotations. How many rotations do you truly None. see happening, right? When you talk about the sacrifice that was made is we don't hold them accountable for the small things that made basketball basketball anymore. Right. They let that go. But be because we're winning. And he's not even talking about the fact that because the NBA has dwindled into that terrible product, men's college basketball is also suffering and has become like a terrible, unwatchable product because the guys aren't good enough to just do ISOs and shoot threes every possession. But they're trying to mimic that same NBA style of basketball. So that's what we're left with. And no one wants to talk about how terrible that product is. But with the women, we got to talk about the fact that they're playing basketball the way it's meant to be played. It's supposed to be boring all of a sudden. I mean, it's like we have to do everything – the right yeah, way. Everything, yeah. So, but that. But the right way is get it done. Get if it I got done. a girl that yeah. can come down, if C Caitlin, right? If she, jack if she comes in and jack shots, that's her game, and she comes to the W and I say, we don't play like that. Yes. I'm I as a cult that as not happening. These people do not watch the WNBA, number one, because. The aces are are literally infamous for not even just the aces, the Liberty, like any good three point shooting team is infamous for going down the court and pulling up and shooting threes and fast break, shooting threes early in the shot clock or getting to the rim early in the shot clock when they can win their one V one matchup. Like those are things that are intentionally designed by good coaches who understand basketball, though. That's not just niggas out hooping like they at L.A. Fitness. I don't know why Lexi Brown will be on a podcast advocating for the WNBA to adopt that concept. That's dumb as fuck. If I'm a coach, I did a disjustice yes. to the league yes. itself by doing 100%. that. hundred percent. She is famous. She is the number one two pick because of this style. Yes. If I do not adapt to this style, I, I ruin the game agree. for you. And now the whole WNBA needs to adapt to Caitlin Clark, who has never played one minute of WNBA basketball, mind you. Has not proven anything about how good she's going to be at that level. Hasn't even matched or beat her peers that are just she's playing in college right now with a national championship with a scoring record or anything else of note. So what are, now we're talking about the WNBA is going to stay boring unless we change the game for Caitlin Clark, who's proven nothing. Like, can we please be serious? Lowering the rim for Duncan. You're not selling your game to NBA and dudes. There's a there's it's called women's basketball. There's women out there everywhere that supports the game. So you lowering the rim to seven foot and six foot. Who gives a fuck what we think? My daughter is not watching the game for Duncan. Right. She's not watching the game for this. She's watching the game for what it is because that's how she plays it. So that's your fan base. You have to. Oh yeah, right, remember, no women. I'm like high school girls. Think, think about high school girls and college girls. Your fan base. They play a whole different, think about what I'm saying. They live a whole different style and play a whole different style than you. They dress, they, they roll their they little shorts up, thigh. Y'all got a long shorts. Y'all are old. They got the rolling their shorts up shit from the WNBA. 
Like, can we please be like, what do, these people don't watch basketball? And I'm kind of even pissed that I even took the time to dignify any of this shit they say saying with a response. When girls have got a lot, all the basketball trends that are trending right now have come directly from the WNBA. Look how short Asia Wilson's shorts are. Who the fuck is y'all that's wearing the long shorts that he's talking about? Her shit is rolled just like what we're talking about. Her jersey is rolled at the top just like what he's talking about. And this is how girls is wearing their uniforms. My girls on my own team wear their uniforms like this because they see these things happening in the WNBA. So what are y'all talking about? Like they're not doing things that little girls want to mimic. Yes, they are. And that's what they're mimicking. Old women to them. Right? I don't wear long yeah, No, I'm just saying for the most part, y'all. So y'all. I'm real cute <laughs> on that court, please. No, think, so think about it. When you guys come into the draft, y'all got on suits, business women stuff. What the, What do you think a 16 year old girl is looking at? What the hell is that? We need to, we need to pull up uh, my draft class picture. No, I'm just saying for just consent. I don't think we had. I think no, we I'm just saying one or two. What the fuck else are they supposed to wear to the WNBA draft if not business women attire? Like, what are we talking about here? Like, I need somebody to really explain to me what it is we're talking about here. I'm just saying, but they, but you, you, you are women. Yeah. But your audience is girls. Yeah. Right. So it's two different. So there's a there's a bridge that's gone. And the audience is not girls. What girls are spending money to go to WNBA games? What girls are spending money on WNBA league pass? Like the audience is bas people who love the game of basketball. And the product is basketball. The product is not can we sexualize these women and make them desirable to us so that we can enjoy the sport of basketball better. That is not how this shit works at all. On because you're 22, these girls are 16, 17, 18. So the look that they they have versus what they see is very different and to them. That's, that's great that you said that because I was just with a bunch of women in like the fashion and entertainment industry, and I had I had been meeting them for the first time, and one of the they all said it. I had no idea that. Uh, WNBA players looked like you. Mm -hmm. I've never seen one. And I was That's because they don't watch the WNBA. You are literally a regular black girl. There is nothing special about Lexi Brown. You are a regular black girl with a wig on. I mean, you're pretty, but what do you mean they don't look like you? Majority of the people on majority of the WNBA teams look just like you, just so we're all clear. I was like... Damn. That's what I've been trying to tell people, though. <laughs> Because people think I get in my feelings because I'm not the I don't get promoted I don't do this I'm not one of the WNBA faces whatever no I don't care I'm doing my own thing I love playing basketball it's cool but I didn't grow up seeing girls look like me mm -hmm. out there their hair done their nails done their lashes makeup on I love please look up I'm gonna look it up for you any picture from the Houston Comets championship run in the 90s when Lexi was born and would have been watching basketball. And you'll see that all of these women was constantly in earrings, constantly had their hair done, constantly had lipstick on, makeup on. Like she did, she didn't watch basketball. Anyone that has this take simply doesn't watch basketball. The WNBA has always been a league full of girls, girl, girly ass girls who play, who happen to play basketball. It's never been no league full of studs and dykes and stuff. Like, this is just a misrepresentation of, of the league in general. And it's actually very unfair to the players who play. Love all of that, as long as you take care of business on the court. Mm -hmm. But I've yeah. had a group of women, like my age, a little older maybe, tell me that they have. this is the first time they've seen a WNBA player that looks like me. And I'm just kind of like... Yeah, that was actually even worse than I thought. It's very clear to me. Let me hide this shit. There's no way you can convince me that anybody that shares Lexi Brown or Gilbert Arenas' opinion has watched like one minute of WNBA basketball for the past 30 years. Like, A, trying to criticize the coaches and the players for sticking to the fundamentals of the game and using their minds as strategists as opposed to using their bodies and using brute force to get to the basket and score buckets – like, that's the beauty of women's basketball. That's not a knock on the game and whether it's marketable or not, number one. Number two, this whole, like, oh, like, there's no girls in the league that look like me. Most of the girls in the league look just like you. The two faces of the league are two feminine presenting women. One is gay and one is straight. Nothing about their lack of marketing has anything to do with their sexuality, their presentation, or anything else. It's everything to do with the fact that the WNBA chooses not to market their players the way they should. 
And for Lexi Brown, like we're we're never beating the Atlanta in the bio Twitter allegations because for Lexi Brown to get on this podcast and let these men say this shit that I would hope she knows isn't true as someone who's been in the league and someone who I hope has been watching basketball all this time, it's extremely disingenuous. Like, and they really need to hold her accountable for this type of behavior. Like, I would even support the W coming down with sanctions because you're misrepresenting the league on purpose to a group of people who are not even the league's target audience, clearly. Because the league's target audience are people who enjoy basketball, not people who are somehow invested in the sexualization and the desirability of the players on the court. Like, is he complaining about how the men present themselves? Is he like, what, what, where is the, what is the issue of women wearing business attire to the WNBA draft? Would you want them to show up looking like 16, 17 year old girls? That doesn't sound like creepy to you. That doesn't sound perverted to you. Like, that's very strange to me that they would even say any of this. And then the whole winning thing, it's like, I just don't understand what the purpose of, I just don't understand what your purpose is if it's not to win basketball games. Like, it is not a knock on the WNBA or their coaches to encourage winning and put winning above all else. It's a competitive basketball league, and you're competing for a championship every year. The only thing you should be worried about is winning, actually.